Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am packing orders. I've been studio vlogging this morning and now I've got nine orders left to pack, which a couple of them are overdue. I always like to get them out within like a week of ordering. Um, but with the bank holiday being yesterday and all sorts, um, I'm a little bit behind and I've been working my butt off. But anyway, we've come to do them. I want to get all of these nine orders in the post today. So I need to get packing. And I thought actually I would just vlog it because I feel like I'm in a very chatty mood. So I think this video is going to be kind of like a real time pack with me. The video is going to be quite long I'm sure because I talk a lot and I also take ages packing orders so yeah keep an eye out if one of these is your orders. If it is do leave a comment down below I would love to say thank you to you. Um, I'm sure I will be saying thank you in the thank you notes and all of that anyway uh, but yeah it's always nice to put like comment Tars, commenters, commenters kind of face to like order faces as well. Like when I sometimes see that like people have like their little avatars as their Etsy shops, I like sometimes recognize them. Um, so yeah, that would be really, really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get started. And the first order we're gonna do is Rebecca's. So Rebecca's ordered a mini shrimp charm, a bread sticker sheet, an avocado keychain, and a couple of other charms as well. So we're just gonna pack that one together first of all. Now I am slightly out of breath because I did just run upstairs. I got myself a little bit of Dr. Pepper. Mm, love Dr. Pepper. It is Dr. Pepper Zero um, because, you know, diabetes, not too much sugar for me. Um, but yeah, still delicious all the same. Anyway, Rebecca, let's get your order going. We're gonna put yours in a box. So I've just actually realised that I'm pretty much close to being out of boxes. So if I can get away with not using a box today, I shall. There we go, a box there. Some shredded tissue paper. I've got this tissue paper like in a big bag. I ordered loads of it so that obviously I always have tissue paper kind of shreds. And yeah, I think that one though actually might have been from like a Kickstarter or something. But anyway, charms. So got my little charm box here as always. And Rebecca has ordered one Sugar Shrimp Boy mini charm. Love that. She ordered the last of the Mushroom Boys. Look at him. They are so, so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love him. And then the blue Stingray charm. So there's that one. These little Stingray charms were one of a kind. And I did these on a little... Um, kind of tutorial but I really 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 loved how they turned out a lot of people said that they reminded them of like the Jinbei San kind of stingrays which I definitely do see but yeah these are the three charms for Rebecca so I'm just gonna whirl them up into some what's it called bubble wrap <laughs> she also ordered a little avocado with a little smile on a little avocado keychain love that I've already packaged it up in a little plastic kind of um, bag there just because I have quite a few spare so I may as well use them rather than leave them go to waste. I'm actually going to use one of my own washi tapes for packing today because I am annoyingly out of sellotape in my last kind of packing bit, <laughs> packing video. I realise I used so much clear tape. I don't know what was going on there. I was using a lot of bubble wrap so I usually use clear tape for that but Hey, today we're using washi tape, a brand new roll. And the way that I usually make this happen quite fast is I just kind of roll it out like that and then roll all the charms at once in the bubble wrap. I haven't bought bubble wrap, like new, <laughs> in absolute years. Like I used to use like brand new bubble wrap, but considering I get quite a lot of post um, these days and like I get, you know, just normal stuff in the, kind of pose and then I'll like receive some art toys in the pose and I'll receive blind boxes and everything. I usually have a lot of bubble wrap to go around. So I just kind of reuse it. And like I said, I haven't bought any new bubble wrap in so, so long. So I've just been reusing it. So if you see lots of bubble wrap, don't worry, I haven't bought it new. <laughs> just reusing it. Like last week I was using loads of pink bubble wrap, really like that, but ran out of that. And that was from a gift my mum gave me. Yeah, they've all been loosely wrapped up with the tape on there. That's quite nice. Protects them a little bit. And then they also get protected by this shred of paper as well. Just dot them around. Quite like to dot things in and around. Make them like almost like a little hamper. <laughs> Next thing was the avocado keychain. I think she should be fine, just packaged in. Maybe we should put a little bit of rubber wrap. I'll put a little bit of rubber wrap. I think this one here is absolutely fine. The bigger pieces are usually just fine, especially when they're like little chunky boys like the avocados. But why not? I have so much bubble wrap. 
in like my reuse package drawer. Whenever I like save bubble wrap and stuff, I do put it in, oh, rip that. I do put it in one of the um, like Ikea boxes to my right, which is where I store basically everything, but then I just know it's in there. I've got one specifically for reuse packages, like boxes and stuff from Amazon. That sort of stuff. So she has three charms. So the cotton candy, shrimp boy, the mushroom boy, the blue little guy, and then the avocado with a smile. Got that right. And then she also ordered a couple of bakery boy <laughs> little mini sticker sheets. So pop them in. The next thing I am putting in with pretty much every order is just a little print, a little gloss one of the marshmallow boys haven't shown this before but i have been putting it in with recent orders just because i got a load of these printed to go with some scrunchies that i made and i've also been putting in these handmade stickers so these ones here are like hollow kind of spark one and for rebecca i'm also going to put in a bread is life considering she's got little bread kind of things on there as well so there's that now i just need to write out the thank you card where have i put those over there we go hard to get any of these left either. Look, I don't even think I've got enough for today's orders. Um, oh my goodness, I think I've actually got nine. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to start using a different art print or something for these. Anyway, sorry, this one here is going to Rebecca. And with pretty much all of my orders, I always write out a little note like I think it's just really nice. So thank you so much for ordering. Ordering. I hope you love your new boys. Something a little bit like that. I usually just write like any little random kind of message that I feel like that like correlates with the order kind of. I'll do some doodle sometimes. <laughs> I quite like doing little hearts with faces on. One order I did the other day, I ended up putting like little peach doodles on it. I'm just gotta wait for that to dry because that was a Posca paint pen. Usually I write in a Sharpie pen and um, I don't have to wait for it to dry, but that's okay. Oh, oh no, sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> I smashed your little heart, dude. I think it's pretty much dry. If not, I'm just gonna turn that over. The back of that will kind of protect it. <laughs> Let's just pop that in. So I am out of regular tape, but I just found this big fat wide one. And this is going to work perfectly for the boxes itself because I do like to tape them down because sometimes they ping open like so. And oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, oh no. <laughs> As I was saying, they do like to ping open. So I do like to tape them down shut. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when I don't have a tape dispenser. Oh no, come here, there you go, take that down. Oh, I did not do a very good job of that. <laughs> Could tape across it as well. There we go, this should work a bit better. Yeah, that worked better. And something else I like to do as well, I turn it over, I see these little lip bits, I do cut them off because when things go through as a large letter, sometimes these here, and stop it and then it ends up costing double the price in postage and we do not want that so tape that up then i just get one of these little recyclable mailer bags these are the pink ones i use these because if this little box does get water damage you don't want things inside to get ruined you know so i think just one of these is just perfect like i said they are recyclable if people wish to recycle them or just reuse them um, whatever you want i've reused them in the past like i've put people's postage labels on over the top of ones like i might have got wrong and stuff and works just fine so i'll now weigh this and what i use to weigh is this set of scales right here so weigh this is what i do for every single order we go and that is 99 grams 98 grams i just do a couple of different ways 100 grams 
So if it's over 100 grams, it goes through as a different one. So I will put this as a little bit extra, maybe 110, just so that it goes through at the next price bracket. Because if it's under, oh, then it gets like held up and all sorts. So 110 grams for Rebecca. And then what I will do is stick the poster label on when I print them all out together. So set that one aside and move on to the next order. So the next order, oh, again, it's a Rebecca. I had ought to put something else on that. Rebecca J. <laughs> the next one is for Rebecca B. She's also got a very similar order. Okay, so Rebecca B has got a sugar shrimp boy. The purple stingray, again, just like the little blue one, just a purple one. And she also has a smiley avocado. How weird is that? That's so similar. Okay, I'm gonna go get that. And we'll package up these boys. Two, I still can't believe that these two orders, orders are so similar. And then both the names was Rebecca. That's so funny to me. Okay, so let's cut that in the middle. Tape on that and we'll put that in a box as well. Put one at the top. Like so. We'll put one at the bottom. Like so. And then we'll wrap the avocado. Okay, just that little bit of bubble wrap. That I use as that up, and we'll put that one in the middle. There we go. They're kind of just a bit more protected now. So again, with this Rebecca's order, I'm going to give her a glossy marshmallow print. Oh, there's two there. She almost had two. <laughs> I just really like cute things. Stick it and we'll write her out a thank you note. So again, to Rebecca. Should we do this? Yeah, we'll do it in the Posca pen. That would actually write it off really nice. Rebecca. Thank you for your order. And Avo Boy. <laughs> Call him Avo Boy. Chelsea. D. Wow. I do find it really weird that I, like, I'm still going Chelsea D. Wow. Even when I post on some sugar shrimp, you know? I should just be like, I feel like I should just be like Chelsea. But I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. So we're just going Chelsea D. Wow still. She also gets three little hearts with little meth faces on. And I smudged hers as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's consistency for you. Again, I'm gonna turn her print over. Give it a bit of a blow. Um, that's looking all right. We'll put that in. Close this one down. And again, I know from previous, just to put a strip on the opposite the way around. This is so hard without a dispenser. I don't have a big tape dispenser. Should get one really, but hey, we can do it without. We can do it without. There we go. I do find it really weird that I don't have nails on like for the past two, three years, maybe even longer. I've just worn like gel extensions on my nails. And now when I see my hands without nails on, I'm just like, what? is that especially on the screen like filming this video here i'm just like these don't look like my hands um but i just thought i'd give my nails a little bit of a break i actually ended up like stubborn those when i did cleaning and everything and i ended up like really hurting my nails like so much so that they ended up having like little kind of bits of blood underneath there like i googled it and apparently it's called like a splinter bleed or, or something like that um and yeah, I really thought, oh, I need to give my nails a break. So I've been doing that. I haven't been enjoying it. Like I said, I'm not liking my hands, but I have got new gloves and stuff to cover up my hands sometimes when I'm doing close-ups. So <laughs> at least that's something. Um, I never knew that was an issue of mine, but hey. 
Yeah, apparently I just really like having nails on. So we're gonna weigh this one here. Let's weigh this one. 87, awesome. So we're under 100 grams. So this one here is gonna cost me less to ship than the last Rebecca one. That's just because of the other charm difference in there. What was that, 87? I usually round up, so we go to 90 grams. They don't matter too much, just as so long as they're definitely in the right price bracket. And also like the post office, they actually go and weigh it again and like just make sure of the actual one before giving me proof of postage and stuff. So yeah, that's that. The next one is for Janet. She has ordered a mini charm. Like so again, another little sugar drink boy, the cotton candy one. And she's also ordered this last purple little wooden charm that I had. I love that. She's also ordered a C grade of the baker's gonna bake enamel pin. You know the one with the gold dot on. So we'll go get that together. Why not? I'll show you where I keep those. A quick drink over here in my window. I have another little unit which holds my printer. And down here holds a whole load of other boxes and stuff. So, let me just show you here. So this is actually in a Find a Unicorn box. I kept all of my B and C grade pins. Let me show you. Just like so. And basically, we'll just go through and just pick out the ones. So I've put like little um, letters and stuff down in the bottom. So as you can see, that's a B grade. Um, we've got like C grades in there and all sorts. Just a little bit of a mix. And they're all pre-packaged for me. And it doesn't look like we have any of the Baker Gone Bake ones. Okay, I found one. There we go, Baker's Gone Bake. Look at these, they're so kind of cute and golden. I just love these. These are my shop really, really cheap. For Janet's order, we're gonna try and do this without a box. So, I think it's nice and small, so it should be okay. Got myself some crinkly, dinkly paper. This is the no issue tissue paper. I got this when I worked in collaboration with them, obviously over on Chelsea DIY. I really like it. The only trouble is it's so crinkly. Like on camera, it ends up being so loud. So I'm gonna wrap this first of all. And then we'll wrap these little packages in bubble wrap after that. And that'll go nicely kind of in a paper envelope because we've got nothing big in there. Rapidly, 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 rapidly. I usually end up, um, like when I'm packing orders like this, end up watching like a whole bunch of true crime, which I know is a bit weird. Um, but I end up watching like um, true crime documentaries, like murder mysteries, unsolved cases, that sort of stuff. I don't know why, it just keeps me like in the moment and kind of a bit entertained, which is kind of a bit weird. Um, but today, obviously, I'm just having a little chat with you, so. I haven't got that on today, which is just as well, because you don't want to hear my um, like headphones and stuff blaring out true crime when you're trying to just have a little listen, a little chat. But yeah, I actually really like watching videos like this of other people, like, because obviously I work um, by myself at home. I do sometimes just get like fed up with the silence, you know? So I end up just chucking on like other people's vlogs when I've had a lot of true crime <laughs> and I feel like I need some positivity and I need some like extra motivation and that sort of stuff to like pack my own orders so yeah hopefully you've also got some orders to be getting on with some work to get in on with as I'm talking here and hopefully we're having a little kind of work session together that's what I'm envisaging in my mind nobody's probably going to end up be watching this because um, I am posting over a sugar shrimp and my view rates are crazy low which is absolutely fine I'm actually quite enjoying it it means that there's less pressure that washi tape keeps ripping 
yeah, it just means there's less pressure when I'm filming and editing and getting videos up and stuff. I think with Chelsea DRI, I found I got too kind of caught up with like having to have videos perform well that I ended up making loads of videos that I just hate. I watch them back now and think, what was I thinking? So really, I know I was just kind of chasing views and that sort of stuff. And that is not the life for me. <laughs> As you may be able to tell with me being over here now, I'm not loving this washi tape look. I don't think that looks very good, but that's what we've got today. <laughs> it's gonna work better than, you know, having to wait a couple of days for me to go out and get some more tape. Probably better for the environment, paper tape, um, but that does look a bit ugly. I won't lie, at least they've got cute faces on, I suppose. Lots of cute candies, but not the best looking, is it? <laughs> looks a bit like Charles wrapping, but hey ho. Hopefully you um like it. Sorry, Janet, for all this tape, but um, I think it uh, it's come together quite cute, I suppose. At least they have got cute faces on. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm saying now. I need to get myself an envelope. And if I just write out this note, Janet, first of all, it could dry as I'm packing. So yeah, as I was saying about views and stuff, um, which has yeah, right, I kind of got really caught up on like it's hard to explain but really chasing the views down and making videos i didn't want to want to make then i felt like i needed to make like that certain type of video all the time um like squishy videos diy videos blah 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 and now with this channel i just don't really care like i'm starting over doing a new like my new shop bits doing the sugar shrimp boys i'm really really enjoying it doing these little packing videos just, just filming what i'm already going to be doing i think that's the main thing I hope you love your charms. So yeah, that's kind of like why I've been hiding out on this channel. It's just less pressure. I've just, I end up doing stuff because it's fun. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, I'm just really enjoying hanging out really. Like I come to the conclusion that I don't like making content for the sake of making content anymore. Like before I didn't, mind it it paid off really like it paid off a lot better than me doing this for example like on this channel it's not monetized at all so this video here no ads on it or anything hopefully one day there will be but for now there just isn't i'm just kind of doing it for for fun i am relying on the shop updates a bit more but like you can see we are getting orders i'm really really grateful for them every single one that comes through i just i don't know i just love it i feel so grateful every time i even get like one tiny order even if it's just for one charm even if it's just for like a sticker a print just whatever i'm always so grateful so yeah i am relying on it a little bit more which is a bit scary but it, it is what it is if you know it all goes to pot then i suppose i'll have to get like a normal job that's just fine done it before <laughs> so i used to do um so yeah what can i say that that's where i'm at right now so janet there's your order all nicely packed away in there everything's obviously bubble wrapped it should be fine without bubble wrap anyway because obviously the way i make things we're reinforced with um wire like a couple of coats of resin everything they should just be absolutely fine but i always like to coat them in the bubble wrap then it's in the kind of like do not bend envelope then in there so we should be good i've never ever ever touch wood had a broken charm or anything like that in the post so yeah all right next up big boys we've got two big boys today we've got number two and number four one's going to penelope one's going to pauline so let's pack up penelope's first because she just has the big boy alone for the big boys i have been wrapping them in their own little cotton bags i made these up on a video i do believe a filmed on video i did um i just did a random um vlog um style thing just as i was making them just because i wanted to show you people that i was making them kind of to order and stuff and yeah i really like that um just also just to give a little bit of help with got a little bit of blue tack still on the bottom <laughs> just to give people a little bit of help maybe um tips and tricks into how to make them so if you want to see how i made those um there is a video for the sugar shrimp boys i have been i'll tell you what i'll just show you this right because it's so cute look at that 
Um, it's signed at the bottom of the sh little shrimpy, little shrimp dude. And then we've got the number of the actual piece that's on the bottom because these are limited edition. I thought that would be a really, really nice topped. The kind of like epoxy on here is a gl glossy kind of finish with um, like little bits of glitter in, kind of like my little mini charms. This here was finished in a matte. Oh, I just love them. So the way that I've been packaging these is I've just wrapped them up in bubble wrap they should just be okay as they are again they're very sturdy very solid um but we like to be as protected as we possibly can because obviously these are one of kind um they are limited edition i don't want to be having to remake these because i'll never be able to remake them the same so instead of putting the washi tape on this one i'm going to put clear tape i'm just going to cut it down but it's just cut it down into strips not the best. I do desperately need to get some normal glue tape, but yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. So just wrap that around. Just for an extra bit of protection. Wrap in the bottom. Like that. And we'll just take another little snip. Put that on top. Yeah, so as I was saying, like with um the shop itself um i actually worked out all of the etsy fees and that sort of stuff and i'm not kidding it's gone crazy with the amount of fees that you have to kind of take into consideration i think there's like six different fees now etsy only like advertised the fact that it takes like five percent or something which is only one of the fees and there's so many others that you have to consider and i calculated all the fees and everything like that that I actually paid, like just this shop update alone, and it was insane. But I paid over hundred pounds. Well, it was actually just close to hundred pounds, probably more than that. Now the month is finally finished. To just Etsy and just like for the pleasure of putting my items on their website. And there are a few like annoying bits with Etsy, to be honest, that not a lot of people really talk about. But yeah the amount of money i'm paying for fees is insane obviously then when the fees are more you have to like charge customers more i don't want to put up my prices any more than i have to i don't want to charge any more than i have to so i've been like practicing not sending things through etsy labels and using other little kind of shipping methods like click and drop with rml and i'm really finding that it's just as simple um so i think i'm gonna try and build my website <laughs> to save on fees and to save me from having to raise up my prices on my shop because it's just something I don't want to do. So I'm gonna write down this thank you now in a second. So I've looked into prices and stuff of like websites which makes it fairly easy, like Squarespace and that sort of stuff. I always see Squarespace, Squarespace sponsor people. I've actually used Squarespace for a shop before, worked out perfectly fine, if not smoother than Etsy and eBay and that sort of stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna give it a go. So yeah, the pricing of that is around about 30 pounds a month, which compared to the Etsy fees I've already spent is insane. I figured last year I've spent almost a thousand pounds just on the Etsy fees alone. That's not including shipping costs. That's not including anything like that. Just Etsy fees, which is really sickening to me because to be honest, right now I could really do with a thousand pounds to be paying my bills and stuff. But yeah, Squarespace, like, website themselves are, I think it's even less than that if you pay up front, maybe like £250 a year, which is, you know, three quarters of the amount of saving. Like, you save three quarters of the amount that I've been paying, which, I don't know, I like that idea. So, with the big boys packaging, I have been just putting them into a mailer. I have been wrapping this box as well with bubble wrap, but... I really don't think I need to do that. The only thing moving around is the washi tape. So I think we're just gonna put it in a mailer. And the mailers that I've been using are these blue ones. Like so, let's throw my camera colour off a little bit. But it's a nice pastel blue. And yeah, there you go, Penelope. Where is your order? Let's wear yours. One seven five. So we'll call it one eighty. Penelope. 
how many orders we've done now we've done four five more to go i feel like i've been filming forever i feel like i've been talking forever I'm talking about a lot of nonsense i know so this one here is number two as you can see and this one here is for pauline so we'll wrap it up in the same way a little bit of eyelash there I'm sure pauline doesn't want my eyelash <laughs> yeah so that's what i've been doing i've been exploring squarespace again i'm really excited about it actually because you'll see you can customize like your websites a bit more i really want like um, a bit of a portfolio kind of like page on there where i just show off like designs of sugar shrimp boys like designs of charms and stuff kind of like an instagram but on there without having to be on instagram then it's going to make it a lot easier for like pinterest and that sort of stuff so i think that's actually really fun i just need to find the time to do it I'm wasting a lot of time talking to a camera <laughs> and packing orders. There we go. That's some messed up bubble wrap, but hey, it's going to protect the piece a little bit more. Into the cotton bag. Oh, lovely. And we'll just bulk out a little bit. Okay, Pauline also has a little matching charm like so oh that like so <laughs> and an avocado keychain but with an open mouth this time there we go so i'm just gonna wrap the little boy in the bubble wrap as well get really into the bubble wrap today down and stick that in i would be really kind of like intrigued to know whether or not you've had success yourself if you've obviously worked with squarespace if you've used them for if it's worked out successfully for you like i said i have used them before for another shop that i did i did a home decor shop once um for my kind of personal instagram youtube that i've now since abandoned <laughs> I have a like habit of abandoning YouTube channels um <laughs> but yeah it worked out really really well I've just never done it for the cute stuff which I really ought to my initial plan was to go over to Etsy once I'd built up like say like a thousand sales on Etsy no to go over to Squarespace when I had a thousand sales on Etsy for example but that kind of came and went not too far from it maybe about 1200 orders now so it's right on time and with Etsy fees increasing and everything like that, it's, um yeah, probably a great time to make the move. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Pop that in there. So the keychain, a little bit in there, and that one. So again, we're going to give her a little washi tape in there to go with the sugar shrimp boy. And then we'll give one of these cute little, I really like cute thing stickers. Also going to put in a bread is life sticker because I've got one of those on my desk as well. And then because this one is going international, I'm just going to add in a little bit of extra packing paper on top there, just to kind of pack it out, just to make sure it's not going to move around at all. Push it all in. Close it up. When going international, I like to add just even a little bit more extra packaging, just because sometimes things can be in the post for so, so long. With the UK, things tend to arrive within a couple of days, so you've only got to you know, a couple of days of wiggling around and getting chucked about and everything like that. I always try and make sure that it, I'm confident enough to throw the package down the stairs. If I'm not confident enough to throw the package down the stairs, then I shouldn't be shipping it because, let's face it, shipping handlers and all of that, they are crazy when it comes to packages. We've all seen the videos, haven't we? I'm getting chucked around and everything. So, yeah, I always try and protect them. Like, if I'm not feeling confident that it will make it down the stairs in one piece, it's not going to make it to the destination. <laughs> That's the way I always think about it, but... Yeah. Let's package up this one for Pauline. I always write in joy. I like, do that on every single order. I just, I do it out of habit, but I, I literally never say enjoy in real life. <laughs> I was just drawing these little hearts again. <laughs> Loving that. Anyway, Pauline, you're also going to get a marshmallow print again loving them putting them with every order like i said and then the little note on there love that am i feeling confident yes that is going to be fine i'm going to take this box shot though it it just isn't going to come undone but you know you never know we'll give it a bit of washi tape a big bit of washi tape 
and um, we'll put that in a mailer as well. I usually only buy pink mailers, but because I've got these stickers that I made with my um, shipper label printer, they're pink background and they look, look real cool on the blue. And um, yeah, I'm just using blue ones with those. So, cut those up. Blue ones with the big boys and the tote bags. So this one's Pauline's. So this one's probably gonna be in the 200s. Hopefully it's under 250, but we will see. Yes, 228, so we'll call that 230. Let's just measure it on another side as well. That says 28. This weigher is so bad, that's a 28. 214. This is <laughs> 228 on that way again. We're just gonna go to what about 240? So as long as it's under 250, it goes in a different price bracket. And who was that for again? Oh yeah, Pauline. I really need to get a new scale. I'm thinking about buying the um Moonbian. Moonbian, is that how you say it? Like the one for my pink printer. They've got a a weigher scales I'll call it, uh, shipping scales, four packages and it's pink as well and it matches and um, I've been loving the look of that. I've just been trying to save the money. So let's look on Etsy again here. We've got down to Penelope, didn't we? Yep. So we've got Faith, Sienna, Justina and Megan left to go and they're all small orders. So we've just got two tote bags. We've got um, a pin, a charm and an avo boy for those. So we'll do... Um, the other boy just because I've got it here on my desk a moment so let's do that one I won't lie to you I'm really enjoying <laughs> sitting here chatting to you guys um there's no one chatting to me back there might not even ever be a single person that watches this um but I'm really enjoying having a little bit of a chat it feels like three therapy to me so for this little other boy I'm just gonna wrap him up like so it's funny because it's got little avocados on this paper too. I made this paper quite a few years ago now. Two, three maybe years ago. In collaboration with No Issue and I just oh, I love it. Just love it. Put a little bit of a sticker on that. And instead of wrapping this one up in bubble wrap, I'm just going to use one of these little um, Jiffy mailers. Don't typically use these but um, my neighbour was moving out and he gave me all of his old shipping bags because he's gone to live off grid and he's no longer working so he gave me all his mailers so <laughs> i've got loads of mailers now as well i just remembered i could have been using these all along instead of the paper ones but hey i've put a little cute sticker in there and a little i just really like cute things sticker in there oh let's just package that up and i'll put it in with a print and a, a thank you letter We'll put that in a mailer together. So, you know, we just got all different sorts of packaging techniques here today, just because I have loads of just mixed matched packaging <laughs> to use up. I just may as well use it all. So, who is this for? This was for Layla. And Justina bought it for Layla. So, I'll address this one to Layla. Thank you for your order. I won't say what it is. I'm just gonna put new boy. Enjoy. Because she might not know that it's an avocado in there. It might be a surprise, you know, and I do not want to ruin that. If it is. We go put a couple of hearts on, put a couple of faces on. And yeah, like I said, my neighbour gave me those of these little jiffy bags. He also gave me loads of cello bags and loads of other little mini bags, um, which again, I don't typically use, but I mean, rather than save them to go to the bin, he literally said like, can you take these? Because otherwise they will go into the bin. He just got this massive bag of stuff. Um, and I was just like, uh, sure. Um, so I've just been working my way through it. So just check that will go through. Yeah, just fine. And that, like I said, was for Layla. But Justina bought it for her, so we'll put Justina on the outer package because then when I ship print the labels off, I won't get confused. Like, why isn't there a Layla? So Justina, and that was 52 grams, we'll call it 60 grams. There we go. 
Oh my goodness, I've only got three left now. I told you, packing takes ages for me. This is actually quite quick for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Sienna has a tiny a little shrimp boy charm and then we just have one remaining. That's it, just one. This one here, still up for grabs on the shop, but it's no longer made to order. So I'm just gonna change that on the shop. Change the listing from made to order to ready to go. Um, yeah, they like the little mini boys sold so well that I opened the made to order slot. And like I said, I've just got one of them left, which was from the made to order slot. So I'm very happy about that. I just made up an extra one just as I was doing them. I just made up a block of six. So I opened up six made to order slots. And then obviously, I want to the other one actually. That one has a little bubble there. I could fix that. But that's going to annoy me. I'll fix that later on. Ah, yeah, that was much better. And I just realised I put the tissue paper inside out. That doesn't matter. That does not matter. Yeah, my memory card just ran out of like. <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy i must have been talking so long um i just packaged up the order without realizing um this was to sienna so i've just put a little note on the back of the fluff little print there just because i only have two um little sugar shrimp guys on there and i just thought I'd just use that one for the marshmallow rather than me sending out both just whilst i had it there so save that one i'm gonna weigh this one and like i said this was to sienna and this one is 26 grams. 26 grams. So we're around up to 30. Like so. Two left to go, two little orders. And they both have tote bags and one of them has a pin with it. So I'm gonna package up the tote bags to begin with. I'll just wrap those in tissue paper. I've been wrapping them just in white tissue paper. So I look the best. To begin with, I was wrapping them in like the Chelsea DIY tissue paper, but then it looked too much with how big the kind of tissue paper had to be to like put these bags in it just looked like overkill so with the bags just kind of fold them up like so in the tissue paper pop them in the middle pop the handles on there pop the tissue paper up like so and around and then I just use an eye just to really like cute things sticker to stick the tissue paper together and that's really nice it also shows what's kind of in the bag as well. But what bag's in there? I thought that would be kind of fun to do. There we go. And I just really like cute things stick out. I made these on the Cricut really, really quickly the other day. And I really, really like how they turned out. I just use the same graphic that I actually used on the bag. Like so, there we go, tote bag done. And we'll write the little note out. And this one here was to Megan. Megan, thank you for your order. I ought to just get these printed out or something because I end up wasting a lot of time writing out these notes. I could just write like the little note bit kind of mainly done and then just like write a little tiny note and then like the name. That would be a lot easier. Save me a lot of time, but hey. For now, this is what we've got. Well, I don't have, maybe that's what I'll do on my next one. We'll design this together because these are the last two thank you card things that I have left. Hope you love the tote. Enjoy. Again, Kelsey DIY Expo. Pop that on there. And again, a freebie hollow, I just really like cute things, a sticker, and we'll give an art print with the Marshmallow Boys on there. Because who doesn't want that? And the taupe go in a nice pale blue miller bag by themselves. Like that. These are really, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, it's okay. So 
sometimes it rips open the bag, we have to use a new one. <laughs> so it's really, really easy to package. And that was to Megan. And I have these all weighed out, but we'll just weigh it for the sake of weighing it. Why not? We've done it on every other one. Oh, I can't see. So in 87. Um, I don't know, so we'll just put it in at 99 grams. And it'll be in that price bracket rather than the 100 gram one. And like I said, the next one is for faith. And that's another tote bag, so we need some more white tissue paper. There we go. If by any other chance you hear like that noise, it's my chair. So squeaky. I really, really need to get a new chair, but like I said, budget again. <laughs> Everything is down to the budget these days. And the fact is, I don't really want to be wasteful. I've had this chair for many, many years now, like way before I even moved here. I'm removing any fluff from this bag. Um, way before I even moved into this house. So that's quite a long time ago now, like five years maybe I've lived here. Um, but yeah. Like it still squeaks. <laughs> Such a squeaky chair. Like, I don't, I, I'm just a bit like um, attached to it really. Just really like a chair. I do see other YouTubers always complain about the squeaky chair and I think just buy a new chair. Um, but when you come attached to your chair, you don't really want to do you? Just folded those handles in. The handles are like the hardest part for me. I don't know how people package handles. Definitely not that way. Um, so Faith also has a second UFO shrimp pin. I will show you where I keep those as well. Shrimp pins, I keep underneath this desk. So I've got this desk over here with the cricket on right by my doorway. And underneath there, I have these boxes. So in these boxes, this is where I kept my shrimp pins. I have so many of these, like so many, simply because the time I did my first Kickstarter, which were the shrimp pins, um, I got a bit carried away. I ended up ordering so many. So look at this. Like these here are seconds pins, I think. Well, they could be the fast one. No, these ones here are the seconds down here in this little package. So here they are, look. look how adorable they are. I just love them. These are still my favorite pins I've ever created. And then the little cards here are what I packed them on. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take out one of these little bags as well. We could put some, oh, I forgot to put that back in there. Extra little rubber kind of clasps in there. Yeah, so I got these little things in boxes. I think they were from Home Bargains, something like that. I think they were only like £1.50. They're for DIY, um, but they held the pins in there perfectly. And I just put them back here, like so, by my printer, scrunchies, <laughs> candle, and just other junk that's underneath that. <laughs> that's where they stay. Okay. Now to get the little pin on there, I just take the backs off, get the little card, pop it on there, Press it down so the pins kind of go in there and I can secure them on. I've got to put this in another bag so I just put those little rubber clasps in that little bag just because I had loads of them kicking around. I may as well use that. We'll package this up the same way that we packaged up the last tote bag with the little sticker. Again using the white tissue paper because it just looks better when you've got like a big area I think. I think the little boys look good with the kind of Chelsea DIY paper then it's just a bit much for the big ones. So we'll wrap this up nicely. Down in place. Thank you note for Faith. Faith, thank you so much for your order. Again, I need to get this printed. <laughs> I will. I will get that printed. Next studio vlog, I will definitely do that. Thank you so much for your order. Hope you love your toe.
and a pin. So right and draw on this one. Weird. Go and again we will give her the freebie marshmallow print. A freebie a holographic little dude. And as it's the last order, and I've got one of these bread for life stickers on there, I'm gonna pop one of them in there too. There we go, look! The last order. So another melon bag, another melon bag. Just bend down to get that one and let's pop her in. And that's the last order we have to do. I wonder how long I've been doing that for. I reckon a while. How long have I been filming for? The same amount of time. So this is going to be a very long, chatty little pack with me video. <laughs> Sorry that this blue keeps like making the camera go funny, but what can you do, huh? So this was for Faith. The reason that I write it on the other way, like where this little tab is, is because when I put the shipping label over it, it also acts as an extra seal, so I don't have to use tape there either. I know. Genius, right? So next up, I need to print out all the shipping labels, get all the customs information, everything like that, um, on the click and drop, and get all the labels printed. Like I said, hundred grams. That's annoying. So it's gone into the hundred two fifty section. Oh well, that's okay. Go okay, one oh five grams, and then I'll just stick all the stickers on and everything, and stick the kind of new sugar shrimp boys stickers on which I made with my printer. Let's see if I have some. Oh gosh, so many shipping supplies over here. Oh god, I just dropped so much. Oh, there we go. There they are. There they are. Here they are. Look at that. Look at them. So I just kind of like get one of these and like stick it on there. I really like that. <laughs> this is my favourite bit about shipping recently, putting these on. And there we go. That is the very last order I had to do today. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. I definitely did because I spoke the whole way throughout. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for joining me today on the little pack with me. All the orders are now packed and that means all of my order books are now done. I'm going to have no orders left to fulfil. So very happy with that. Um, yeah, thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you very soon for another studio vlog something like that if you enjoyed it please do leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already i would love to have you thanks so much for working with me today and i will see you very soon for another video bye